<laughs> well, we're in the cowboy hats. Yeah, we're live, Bartle. Here we go. We're doing All a right. show, Bartle. It's good. I was eating pizza. We're going live. Remember, I didn't get my cheese at breakfast. We're gonna do it live. I'm always ready for the break, so pizza. yeah, bring on the pizza. Bring on. You can eat pizza on the air. That's one of the best parts about this show. In fact, from Mountain Mike's, everybody. I can't get through the last segment. Mountain Mike's pizza. pizza. Mountain Mike's. Stockdale Highway. Look at that pie. Just west of. That's uh, a great pie. Just west of California. Eh? Bart, it's good you stuff. Take over the segment. Sure. Should we just let Jose run the whole thing? Jose, go ahead. We can. I talk with my mouth full. That's right. What do we start with? Hose, welcome. Thank welcome. you. Vice Jose President Rivera. of Ticket Sales, everybody. Yeah. Wearing one of the two giveaways you can get. I'm wearing the other one. He's got the black one. I do. I get the tan one. I'll be sporting it that night as well, so hopefully I can it's get it. It's a good look for you. Thanks. Thank you. You not so much. You don't look natural in a cowboy hat. Listen, I'm not a cowboy. <laughs> now, if it was one of those... Green Boston Red Sox hats. All right, oh, I'm yeah. buying it. There you go. There you go. Roy Rogers. It sits a little high on your head too. Do you, have, well, a, I have, you have a big dome? I have an oddly shaped head, and it's a big. I have a big head. Do you? Yeah. I'm surprised right. you weren't wearing the your Red Sox hat with Bergie here wearing. Yeah, I didn't. Hat. That was, was a curveball. He threw a curveball on that one. I know he nailed you right in your mind. He <laughs> showed up in that hat, and I almost said, "Hey, you're not allowed to wear that." Right. And. uh then I thought he's 6'2", uh, 215 pounds. Yeah, you're and, gonna, uh, you're gonna lose that one. I decided. Yeah. You know what? There's some battles I'd like to fight. I hear you. That's, that's there's still not... more than half a season left. So yeah. Figured. So you never you never know. <laughs> you never right. know. Opening day April what? April something for baseball? April 11th. Forget it. Ninth, Sox. Something like that. Reclaim. Forget the it. World Series. You know. Moving Just on. Saying. Oh, moving on. Sorry. Moving on, producers. Moving on. Well, Jose's here. We're gonna make some picks in uh, just a moment, but. Jose, I want to get your take on last night's game. You're a big hockey buff. I mean, yep. seven goals last night from the Condors, good for the fans heading into this weekend. I told you yesterday that, you know, we were just waiting for that breakout game to, you know, give us a good spark. And I think after Saturday's game where, you know, um, we didn't really get much goals going, um, you know, to have that kind of game come together and really just go seven goals out of nowhere, it's good to see the guys having fun out there, smiling, and uh, – and more we importantly, we were due. More importantly, gave away tacos and burritos last night to the crowd that came to Rebel Bank Arena. I'll tell you what, I have two hands, and I have no problem using both of them <laughs> to hand out things. So yes. I, have I have no good. problem I'm using both hands. I have no problem. I can put out. both tacos from Jack in the Box in one. I can get the El Pollo Loco burrito in the other. There you go. And I can sip on a guzzler. It's true. Did we give those away too? I don't know. Did we? Right. Did we give away guzzlers last night too? Mm. Let's uh let's get minded. let's speed Might past last week's numbers if we can. Well, oh, that's hold on. We're getting into the we're getting into the standings. All right, sorry. Hold on, hold on. We got to analyze this. I thought what I was, was like, taking over. I'm sorry. Like this. So here, Condor's Town, and, and, and Hose can help out too. He can he can be my Vanna White. Oh my. San Francisco, 37 games played. There it is. You look over at the Condors, 33 games played. Guess what? Bakersfield's gonna have five my. games in hand. Five. After tonight, why? San Francisco plays the game tonight. So they're going to have 38 games. Root against them. That's right. Condor's just one point back of San Francisco. And even more importantly, Bartz, and you pointed this out this morning to me, Condor's are 30 points, just 10 points back of Stockton. With two games in hand as well. Who've That's lost right. three out of their last five. Just saying. <laughs> There's definitely room to gain yes. some ground here, and I guess I guess the point is is we're halfway through the season, and that's not out of reach. Things the last... are starting to kind of show up how I thought they were going to show up at the beginning of the year. Good momentum going in. Yes, yes. Like it. certainly Indeed. the stock is going up here. It's leveling off here. It's down there. Yeah, and. Uh, that's where I thought they were going to be from the beginning. So I, I and that's where they are. That's where they are. There you go. All right. You look at the Mountain Division now. We see the Mountain Division next week, and we have a three and three Utah, Utah, and Idaho. And ever since Bartle sold the stock on Idaho, he sold it. Then he tried to buy some back. Then he shifted some over to Alaska. <laughs> sent some to Colorado. Uh, yeah. I, I don't own a whole lot of stock in this entire uh, division. To be honest with you, uh, but Idaho is in reach as well. I'm I'm really looking at that. Utah's next on the Condors list right there, out of this division. 32. They're two points in front of Bakersfield. Condors with a game in hand, but uh, nonetheless, uh, things are pretty jumbled. I mean, this is a pretty jumbled division right here. Five points separating first from third. 
And Utah's not out of reach of these guys either if they get a hot streak. So, Who's your favorite Mountain Division team? Do you have one? Uh, well, I don't have a favorite one, but I guess if I were rooting for anybody, it would probably be Colorado since they're leading the pack and we want to kind of get into this area. Yes, this area. To, there you exactly. go. That's exactly where we want to be. And when I look at teams, I always go by, who do you fear? I, I look at this, I, I don't fear much. That's yep. why I sold all my stock. You can sell it. I, and I'm with you now. I'm believing. All right. I'm believing. I don't, I don't fear anybody. Let's make some uh, picks. But first, before we make the picks, let's leave this up as long as possible. I mean, there's some serious ground being gained. <laughs> I went 3-0. and Bartle. Went oh for three. I think the important thing to note here is three losing records. It's yeah. not easy to predict ECHL games. It's a crapshoot. So Fozzie went two and one last week. Oh wow! So we've rolled through the vice presidents. I think Matt Riley's coming on next week. We'll get El Presidente on. I have to set the bar high then. Four. Yeah. So we've got Fozzie at two and one. Stephen Gady, our intern, was one and two earlier this year. Roger Parsons two and one. Kyle Bennett, I think, was two and one. Yep. So. There's some room here, Hose, and I look down at your picks, and I like what you're picking. So let's get right to it. Let's yeah. do it. All right, we have Stockton at Ontario, <laughs> this game being played tonight. We saw what Stockton had last night. Hose, what do you think about tonight's game? Well, I went with uh, the rain. Well, one, you know, the obvious they're playing at home. They play really well at home. Uh, secondly, you know, Stockton coming off a tough loss with us against us last night. I uh, figured they, they, they don't have it in them to, to bounce back, so I picked uh, Ontario. It's a safe bet. He said that to me yesterday when I asked, hey, Hose, what do you got for picks? And he said, you know what, Holty? I think Stockton is going to get their butts kicked by the Condors, and then they're going to lose in Ontario. So he's half right so far. It's good rationale. And uh, I went with him. I got Ontario as well. Knocking off the Stockton Thunder. Bartle's going to look up at the board anxiously, hoping he sees his pick because he doesn't even know. <laughs> no, he this a piece of paper. This one I remembered that I went with Stockton, and I just think they're due to lose. That's it. Yeah. Next. Did you watch Stockton at all last night? Shut up. Las Vegas is at Alaska. They played the first game tonight, but this is the Friday game we're picking. Who do you got? Uh, I'm going with Alaska. Uh, they're just a tough team at home. I mean, that big ice up there in Alaska, just tough to really get used to it. And, Indeed it uh, is. You know, Vegas, Vegas is uh, not Vegas really is playing Vegas. well. Yeah, Vegas. Yeah. So. That's a very political way of putting yeah. that. Yeah. I, I like Billy Johnson. Playing well. <laughs> <laughs> I like Billy Johnson's fight. I like how he hates Alaska, but let's be honest here. That's right. It's all about the aces here for this Friday game. Yeah. And uh, I'm not so different from everybody else here. I just yeah. got to go with the aces. Yeah. They're all at right. home. All right, so we got our final game. Idaho is in Utah. Now, they start this week in Idaho against Utah. That's tonight. But this is Idaho at Utah. Just a four-hour drive. We'll make that next weekend. Yes, we will. <laughs> well, that reminds me, i got to get a bus. I, I will. I, have to, I will. He's got to get a bus. I have to order the bus. Drive. Maybe Hose will come. Who knows? There you go. Hose, who do you like in Idaho versus Utah on Saturday night? I picked the Grizzlies simply because um, I want to get ahead of uh, Idaho, and I and we we're going to play Utah a couple uh, couple of weekends yeah. yep. here in yep. a row. So you know, with us taking a couple of victories from them, you know, Idaho's it's uh, good rationale. Done. That's reverse I psychology. I, I can't like argue it. with that. I like it. I also like the Utah Grizzlies in this game, and uh, Utah has kind of been uh, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde, and Bart's likes Utah as well. I went with the home team on yeah. this one, all things being equal, which I think these two teams are. Great broadcasting battle, too. You got Adrian Denny for the Grizzlies against Will Henneke for the Idaho Steelheads. <laughs> that's a battle up there in the booth. That's, that's like an inside joke. Nobody knows. They don't know. Our fans don't know. Maybe we need to parade those guys out at center ice next yeah. time. That's here. a battle within the battle. That's right. You have to win the broadcast battle. You got to win the head coaching battle, and you got to win the battle on the ice. There's three battles during the game. You say so. I'm Ho going to battle this pizza in about two minutes. Yeah. Hose yeah, three big games piece, this weekend right. for the Condors, two yep. on home ice, and first 2,000 fans. That's right. I'll Five be and older. My black hat Friday night. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna rock this during the game. I think I might do the Can whole I? Johnny Cash thing. I might wear all black and then all black. black hat. Well, Hose, I don't we, know. we'll see. We appreciate you coming on. Thank Best you. Best of luck this weekend. Thanks, Hose. Two two Hose. nice crowds coming to the Condors Town Friday night, seven o'clock Sunday afternoon. It's a four o'clock start. Skate with the team after the game against the Ontario Rain. Another episode of Condors Unleashed is in the books. So, as I always do, I'd ask Kevin Bartle to say. 
pizza. Is the elephant still in the room? Is the elephant still in the room? I think the elephant left. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>